Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. Today we're making our return to Dominaria with a Dominaria Remastered Collector Box. So, this is just something I was kind of interested in because these boxes on release, they were trying to sell these for like $300 plus. dollars. I think I opened one or two on the channel, like on release, and I paid like $300 for these. And uh, they're like $145 right now. And I was thinking to myself, because I remember opening these, and these packs are loaded with hits. And so I was like, holy cow, these boxes are half the price they were when they came out. And I remember these being absolutely loaded. Tons of great mythics and rares because it's a reprint set you know it's they're just loaded with cards with good value so i was thinking well maybe i open one see what we can get see what the value is chainer dementia master wrath of god hunting grounds old border hunting grounds to start us off mystical tutor Great card. Icy Manipulator. Now we're into the commons and stuff. Counter spell, not bad. Uh, prices should be popping up. I have to say that or else I won't do it. Because <laughs> I get lazy and editing videos isn't particularly fun. So yeah, we're looking we're looking at what kind of value you can get in one of these. So, I want to talk a little bit about reselling, because I need to find something to talk about during these videos. So, Mystic Remora. So, on this channel, oh, very nice. That's one of the top cards in the set. Yogmoth, Thran Physician, Borderless. It's non-foil, but that's all right. It's still fantastic. Urza's Blueprints. That's pretty cool. All right, Royal Assassin. So I want to talk about reselling these cards because I've had this channel up for over two years now. And what I basically do is I open booster boxes, right? And then I sell the singles on TCG Player. So one thing, the first thing that no one thinks about is seller fees. So, seller fees, I usually just round up to about 15%, but if you have expensive cards like these ones, and the order is over $25, it's what I use as my metric for what I do for a bubble mailer or just a regular envelope, I use $25. So if the order is over 25 bucks, then you have to pay out for a bubble mailer which at the very least is $3.81 and can be, you know, over 400 or not 400, uh, $4.18, I want to say. Usually, depending on where it is in the country. So if I'm shipping it like in the same state, because it's done by zone, it's done by distance. So the closest distance is $3.81. The farthest distance, I think, is like $4.18. All right, now just regular stuff. Oh, that's cool. Twinsies. So, 15% is usually what I round up to. That's what TCG player takes. And then you have shipping costs on top of that. So, if you're trying to make money, you actually have to get a lot more value out of a box than what you paid for it. It's not just a little bit. Because here's the thing that people don't realize. They're like, well, it's a... Uh, $145 and then add 20%. Well, the thing about that, ooh, Worldly Tutor, nice. The thing about that is that that's not how percentages work. 20% of $200 is a lot more than if you have $145 and add 20% of $145 to that. You see what I'm saying? So if we, as if we just do easy numbers, we'll say 150 bucks. 20% of 150 bucks is 30 bucks. 20% of $200 is 40 bucks. So you can't just take 150, add 20% of 150 to that, because that's not how math works. So you see what I'm saying here? So you have to actually get 
a lot more value out of one of these boxes than what you paid for it. Not just 20% more than what you paid for it. It's considerably more. And the higher the value of the product you bought, the higher the difference has to be between what you paid for it and what you sell the cards for. So for a box that's $145, we'd have to get close to $200 worth of cards to make money on this box. Or at least, ace, at least make a decent amount of money that would be worth the time it takes to, you know, alphabetize the cards, upload them on TCG Player, wait for orders to come in, pull the cards out of inventory, because I have shelves and shelves of boxes, of five-row boxes, with literally thousands. I have almost 90,000 cards listed on TCG Player, so you have to go through... Wow, we're getting... That was a double legacy weapon pack. That's interesting. I don't think that is a particularly good card, but that's kind of interesting. So, you see what I'm saying? So, as the prices pop up on the screen, even though you may pay $145 for these, and if you have a reseller permit, then, and you buy it on, like, eBay, because TCG Player used to take reseller permits, but for some reason they didn't this year, because I needed to redo my reseller permit. But they aren't taking reseller permits this year. I don't know why. So you can't actually buy stuff without sales tax on TCG Player for the time being. But if you bought it on eBay, and you buy it for $145 on eBay, so your cost of acquisition is $145, you'd still have to get close to $200 worth of singles to actually make money. So it's not as simple as some would think. Because, like I said, I've been doing this for over two years now because the whole point of this is, you know, it's entertaining and it's fun for me to do. But if I didn't have any kind of, well, I currently don't, like if you weren't making red ad revenue on, on these videos, you're losing tons of money. I mean, I spend probably on these openings over $1,000 a month and I make maybe 60% of that back by selling the singles time stretch cool so you have to be very methodical with what you're buying to actually make money you can't just buy every set that comes out and open boxes and then sell the singles and expect to get even close to your money back because of reseller fees and shipping costs so and if you if you have a business, which I do, I have an LLC, if you have a business, then that's all tax deductible, but you still have to have profits to deduct that from. You see what I'm saying? So you have to have profits somewhere. You can lose money in some places, but you have to have made money somewhere else in order to deduct it from your profits. You have to have profits. You see what I'm saying? So... <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a lot tougher than people think. And I always see, especially with Magic the Gathering, you see literally like 300 plus listings for some of these bulk cards. And people just don't understand. I don't know if, if they just think, I don't, I don't know. It's a lot of work and it's not a lot of money. So... Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So as these prices are popping up, even though I paid $145 for the box, and the other thing I should mention is that when you're selling on TCG Player, so for these videos, because, you know, I'm trying to be like all clickbaity and get views, when I post the prices for these cards, I'm posting either market price or lowest listing, whichever one is higher. And typically... Cards sell for the lowest listing, which is typically lower than market price. Ooh, Vampiric Tutor. It's like the second best card in the set, I think, right after... Uh, uh, what's the card? The card that was super amazing in Double Masters and then crashed because they reprinted it in this set. Um, Force of Will, that's the one. No Mercy. Right, Spirit Link, Ornithopter. I highly doubt any of the bulk in this set is worth more than a dollar, so I'm just kind of skimming through those. 
If it's not rare or mythic, it's probably not worth much for this set. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, so yeah, you you typically will not sell all these cards for market value unless the lowest listing is higher than market value. These cards will typically sell for, that's a good card, Entomb. These cards typically sell for quite a bit less than market value. And then Enlightened Tutor. Wow, we're getting, these boxes are loaded. And Worldly Tutor, holy cow. An Entomb, Enlightened Tutor, and Worldly Tutor all in the same box. Or in the same pack, even. Wow. That's our second Worldly Tutor of the box, also. We had an Old Border. Was the Old Border also foil? Wow. Yeah, these boxes are loaded. All right, Terror. Now it's just Commons and Uncommons. Yeah, I'll do a little recap at the end, because I'm doing all this talking. Even I'm not paying attention to what I'm pulling. So... Yeah, even what I'm trying to get at is even the price that I post for the box total at the end of this video, probably subtract 30%. And that's probably closer to what lowest listing is. Oversold Cemetery, interesting. Mystical Tutor. We're still getting great pulls, holy cow. I need to go, and another Worldly Tutor. That's our third Worldly Tutor of the box. What the heck? Legacy weapon. Okay, I need to go through. Holy cow. We still have one more pack as well. I need to go through all this stuff. I pulled out all the rares, I think. Like, I've just been putting bulk in the bulk pile, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, there's actually a bunch of rares in the bulk pile. Let me take out all the rares just to be safe. Is Chainer even worth much okay bear with me for a sec the video is pretty short so it's we're only not even 13 minutes in yet I usually do about a minute per pack on these collector videos. So, considering how many hits we're getting, I'd say the time is actually pretty good. Quadruple rare that pack was. And I just shoved all the rares in the bulk pile. All right. Last pack. And then we'll look at some of this stuff again because holy cow this box was loaded i remembered these boxes being loaded and they are urza's incubator another amazing card holy cow and a force of will holy crap we might actually make like 200 dollars on this box holy cow hunting grounds this box is absolutely loaded Holy crap. If we made, I mean, I mean, I won't actually know the full value of this box until I've done the editing, but it's like, holy crap. Look at how, look at all these cards. Look at all these ducks. Look at all those chickens. Okay, so, holy cow. So, let's grab... Let me just grab everything, and then as I go through, I'll pull out the stuff I know is really good. So, bear with me for a sec as I fumble around with all these $30 cards that aren't in sleeves. And a Force of Will, which is actually closer to $45. Alright. Alright, so, Legacy Weapon I'm not sure about. Entomb is good. Enlightened Tutor is great. Hunting Grounds, I'm not sure about. So I'll just put that one down there. Dark Depths. Legacy Weapon, again. Force of Will. Old Border Non-Foil. Very nice. Vampiric Tutor. So we got the top card and the second best card in the set out of the same box. Force of Will and Vamp Vampiric Tutor. Urza's Incubator, also a great card. 
worldly tutor. We ended up getting three of these, or three, was it three or four? It's like three or four worldly tutors. Oversold Cemetery, Hunting Grounds again, Mystical Tutor, put that one there. Yogmoth, absolutely amazing. Legacy Weapon yet again, Time Stretch, I'm not sure about that card. Gamble, another Worldly Tutor, there's our third. Mystical Tutor, that's our second Mystical Tutor as well. Put that one like that, putting the duplicates together. No Mercy, I'm not sure about that one. Um... Zira. Now we're just into a bunch of the rares I pulled out of the uh, the bulk. Body Snatcher. Savine's Reclamation. I mean, Grim Lava Mancer. I think that one's not worthless, at least. Wrath of God. Chainer. Foil. Helm of Awakening. I mean, wow. Gemstone Mine. Denizens of the Deep is cool looking, at least. Joel Rail, Arborea, Turnabout, Gamble again, and another Denizens of the Deep. Chainer again. Oh, wow. I mean, how many rares was that? That, had, that was several rares in every pack. Considering there's 12 packs, and this is the stack of bulk rares, like, <laughs> we had... A lot of stuff in this box. Force of Will, Vampiric Tutor, Urza's Incubator, Enlightened Tutor, three Worldly Tutors, two Mystical Tutors, Yogmoth. Like, these boxes are absolutely loaded. The only reason that these collector boxes are so cheap is because Wizards printed a metric shit ton of them. And they were unloading them on Amazon, essentially. So it's like... This could have been a really good set. If they had priced it a little bit lower initially and they didn't print the shit out of it, like, this could have been a fantastic set. But they just printed twice as much as they needed to and then the price kept going down and down and down and then they started unloading them on Amazon. So it's like, Wizards just epically failed with their execution of this set. But it is actually a great set fantastic it was that was really fun to open if you're looking for something fun to open and you got 150 bucks these boxes are loaded so yeah make sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video